Sundays at the Square. I am your host, Tony Ringgold, and I'm having a wonderful Sunday so far. I hope that you are as well. I have the handsome, <laughs> the incredible, the devil now, Mr. Stop, Brian stop, Ward stop, in the stop, building. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks for yes, having me. yes. Very excited to have you on today. Um, as you know, if some of you don't know, Mr. Ward, uh, he does a lot in the community. He is the president of the Al Edwards Juneteenth Association. He also is the owner of L3. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Um, event planning services. Is that correct? Or you do what all do you do? Um, I don't do it as much per se, um, but uh, I mean different things with the city, yes. uh, different advisory boards, and different uh, community work that I do. Uh, I love the volunteer aspect of the community. Absolutely, absolutely, and I I can tell you that I really really enjoy um, watching your growth and watching you. Um, um, do things in the community that are that really have a, a genuine impact. Um, one of the things that you did that I had the pleasure of being able to sing at um, was um, with all of the violence that's going on in the community, especially that um, in the inner cities and the, um, the tension between law enforcement and uh, and just regular everyday people. Um, you put together an event um, that I thought was very, very needed, and I thought it was very well put together. Um, and tell us a little bit about that event that you did. That was the uh, the Peace Rally. Yes. Um, um, during that time, there was a lot of um, shootings that was occurring on, on both sides. Um, and me, um, obviously, with anything that I do, I lead with God first. And uh, I just really, uh, it was on my heart, and I really thought that uh, that would be something that would be uh, good to do. Although we don't have to necessarily deal with those direct issues in our area, um, it's getting closer and closer um, with every situation that you may hear, situation may arise, whether it's a African American male, whether it's a police officer, um, and so before we run into those type of things, uh, coming to the table, and we already are at the table, right, uh, with the understanding of one another. So if something like that does arise, um, we can actually be um, already in conversation. And get a clear understanding and get some things uh, um, worked on. Um, and so um, I just wanted to do a peace rally. And uh, I was, it was very, uh, very, very well attended. Hundreds came out to it. Um, a lot of the neighboring cities uh, came. Um, we had everything from Colleen, Austin, Belton, Academy, uh, Bartlett. It was. Um, it was literally Waco. It was, and it was hot. Yes, it was very hot. Let me tell y'all <laughs> something. It was in July. And yes, it um, was very during hot. that time, it was very I was hot. doing Camp Amp at the CAC. <laughs> and Brian had asked me to come and sing. And I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to come. I'm, I'm going to make this my business to be there. And then... Baby, yes. the way that stage was set up, <laughs> yes. it was so hot, y'all. My feet was burning inside it, it my was, shoes. I had the choice to either sacrifice the speakers or sacrifice the audience. And so I was like, ah. He sacrificed the speakers. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, he made sure the audience was going to be all right. He sacrificed yeah. the speakers. I was he like, was it, dying. It, it's 14, 15. It was people who are going to be speaking, singing, et cetera. <laughs> it's hundreds of people. I said, nah, come. Yeah, yeah, you they waited out. Right. You they made the out. right choice. And I will say that even though I was hot and I did have to run, I will say that it was still a great turnout. It was still a really, really good event. By the time the sun started going down, it made yeah. it a lot better, yes, too. Yes, so, yes, you know, yes. but yes, I do. I, I appreciate everything that you're doing in the community. I have you here specifically because you have an event that's coming up that I am really excited about. Happy to be one of the, the uh, ticket locations. Um for the all white party, which will be held on October the 22nd from uh, 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, <laughs> there are tickets available at uh, many different locations. And what I love about this is that the proceeds are going to benefit the scholarship fund. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, scholarship funds. We're going to be uh, prim primarily the proceeds going to be benefiting the scholarship funds. Um, our organization do so much throughout the year. Yeah. Um, and 95 percent of the things that we do, we don't charge nothing for. That's right. And so um, we're basically going to be put, put, putting these uh, funds within a scholarship, but then also funneling these funds into other activities that we do throughout the year. Right. Right. And I love the fact that you do that. You know, um, the all white party, I didn't get to make it to it last year. But I heard it was dope. Yes. I heard it was great. Yes. I heard it, yes. it was fun. Yes. And I said, you know what? 
I don't even wear a lot of white. <laughs> But listen, I'm going to give me a cute little outfit, <laughs> it, and I'm going to come on to the white part. And, and it I'm was coming. risky even last year because we, we didn't know, you know, I'm, you know, I know a little bit, a tad bit about fashion and uh, having white after Labor after Day. After Labor Day. Uh, you don't really do that. But when I tell you that everybody had on white in there, and so it was just, it was just a beautiful sight. And then this year we went bigger and better. We got bigger venue. Um, we got bigger decor. I mean, we, we're going to be actually bringing a professional uh, designer coming in to do the decor Ooh, and everything. Oh, this will um, be nice. Yes, yes, yes. So you gonna have the DJ? DJ, who's, who's have coming? The, uh, DJ Uprock. He's gonna be oh, DJing. Okay. DJ, he does a little bit of everything. We're gonna be playing everything from old to new. Yes. And then we have a photography shooting spin, Mr. Eric Adams. Yeah. Uh, and then shout also, out to Eric Adams. Shout out to my boy, he has Eric really Adams. gotten some really good pictures. Hey, Eric, listen, I want to give you a shout out. You have gotten some really, really good stuff for me. Um, some of my best um, performance photos, Eric has. He really uh, got an eye for it. You know, he has oh, an yeah, eye for hands it. Down. catching it. Boom. Right he, in the best way. Because sometimes people too. catch candid photos and your mouth is all like yes, distorted yes, yes. and you look crazy. Yes. But he's able to catch it when you're looking good, and I Eric appreciate is the, that. One of the best <laughs> photographers in the state of Texas. I yeah. mean, I, hands down. Yeah. And check out his studio. He has a studio as well. What? Uh, oh yeah, he got a full studio. You can go in there, face shots, all that good stuff. Professional. Oh, okay. Okay. White well, definitely gotta hit him up. This I mean, is great. He can do anything and everything. He is my go-to person in anything that I do. Plus, he DJs too. He don't like tell people that DJs, but he DJs too. Yeah. And a real good one at that. Awesome, awesome. Well, shout out Eric. Really, really, uh, like I said, he does some good work. Oh, but you know, and I have a partiality, I just have to say. It, Even though Eric is dope, and I will never take that away. My own personal <laughs> photographer here, he not only, not only does he does, do photography, but he also does videography. That's Mr. Von Franklin. If y'all have not checked him out, not. if you've seen any of my webisodes, if mm -hmm. you go on my pages and stuff, this fella that's behind the camera right now, uh, who who is always so cool and, and cool as a cucumber and cool to sit <laughs> in the background. But I'm going to tell you, he does a lot of some really dope, dope stuff. He's done a lot of different things. You go and you see some of my um, photos and stuff from uh, the radio show, interviews, and any of the webisodes stuff he, that you he, see coming up. He's the one that's filming uh, all that. He does the videos. Those yes. Are dope. Those are dope. Yes. Those are dope. So, you must admit. Yeah, yeah. So I got to give a shout out, you know, you know that. Make him look real professional. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but back on the all white party. Yes. Um, beverages of your choice. They're going to be selling there. They're going to have any liquor there. Uh, any liquor that you want, uh, $3. That's it. What? That's including Top Shelf, which you can't get that nowhere. All right. And that's going to be any <laughs> anything that you may want. You ever have Because you know I like to eat. We're going to have food. Okay. And, and <laughs> our, cul sure. our culinary team, they just don't just go. They don't just do uh, cheese and crackers. Yeah. They do and stuff. food, food, food. Like they food. Nice hors d'oeuvres. Nice, nice. I mean, it, it's everything appetizers you can think i mean salads everything okay. you, you're gonna go there have a good time all the way around well I'm we're excited gonna we're it. gonna have enough for everybody so we're expecting hundreds i will say uh we have so hundreds of tickets already hey uh, that's what i'm so, talking about uh we're trying to get to this we, we got a goal in mind so we're we are a little bit over halfway there uh, okay but we have so hundreds of tickets and so. for those who need tickets myself i'm actually a vendor ticket vendor ticket outlet yes. hit me up Premier Music Academy, 1604 South 31st Street um, in Temple, Texas. You can also reach me if I'm not in the actual academy. You can reach me by phone at 254-577-0993. I do have tickets available. Do understand that the one of the main reasons why for me, of course, I love going to parties and having fun. But what is so important about this is that not only are you going to have a great time, but it's for a good cause yes, people yes. this is going to help with scholarships yes. scholarship funds things that are so important for the betterment of our community for our young yes. people to have an opportunity to go to school there are some kids that want to go to school there are some kids that are like right on the cusp they don't qualify for financial aid mm -hmm. but their parents can't afford to really put them through school mm -hmm. and so they're at this limbo of like okay do i take out all these loans 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 yes, loans, yes, loans yes. to be able to go to school and put myself in debt and i'm only 18 years old yes you get what i'm saying so scholarships Scholarships are very important. Philanthropy mm -hmm. is very important. And and a lot of times when you think of being a philanthropist, you think, oh, I have to have millions of dollars. Yes. No, your philanthropy can say, okay, you know what? I'm going to buy five tickets and yes. I'm going to give, I'm going to keep one for myself and I'm going to give four away. And if you, That's can't being come, a if you can't come, you can send someone else. Exactly. And so even if you can't come, if you do want to donate, uh, you can call myself 254-624-1401. 
You can go on our Facebook page, Al Edwards Juneteenth Association, uh, or find any Juneteenth member to just simply if you want to donate. We do have uh, Premier Vocal Coaching as one of the outlets, uh, Testimonial Hair Designs as one of the outlets, uh, Ace of Fates Barbershop as one of the outlets, uh, It's All Good Barbecue, and any other Juneteenth member. Uh, and then if you want to, if you cannot get to one of those places or get to one of those people, just go on Facebook, either look at myself, Brian Ward, B-R-Y-A-N-T-W-A-R-D, or the Out at Which Juneteenth Association, Temple Texas page, Facebook page, and just put your name on there. We'll put you on the list because we are taking a list down. So if you cannot make it to one of those ticket out lists, put it on the list. We'll get you in the door. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, is there any VIP areas? Um, we don't, we're not, it's first come first. So we're going to have a uh, ample amount of tables. Okay. Everywhere is going to be VIP. Everywhere, you, everywhere, everywhere is going to be that, VIP. Folks? So yes. listen, everywhere is VIP. Yes, yes. So that means no matter where you are, whether you're in the front, back, side to side, you're going to have, you're going to have, you're going to have, have a, you're going to have a VIP treatment. Yes. And it, and it looks, it's going to look like it too. Oh, and you know, yes. well, let me tell you something. Mr. Ward always has an attention to detail. So anything he puts his hand to, I, I have an expectation when I come in the room. I'm expecting it to be a certain type of way. Yes. And I know that he is going to bring it when he comes in. So I'm really, really excited about you coming here, yes. brother. I'm it, oh, excited it's at the VFW. Okay, 18, now where is that? VFW Post 1820. That's 3302 Airport Road, Temple, Texas. Seven six five four. Not too far from right the station. Right, right up the street. Up the street. Yes, yes. Okay. So again, this is October the twenty second. That's a Saturday. And it's from eight PM to two AM. First come, first serve on the seating, but everywhere you sit is gonna be VIP. Yes. Okay, we can't really tell you the ticket prices, but all you need to do, if you need to find out the ticket prices, you just need to contact 254-624-1401. Also, you could go on Facebook and look up Al Edwards Juneteenth Association. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, even though I can't tell you the ticket prices, they are extremely reasonable. Yes, yes. I'm talking about like <laughs> for what we do, I mean, yes. for what you're going to get, baby, yes. you should buy two tickets. Yes. I'm serious. Because, three tickets. Yes. Because I'm telling you, they're, they're extremely, extremely reasonable. We're going to have DJ Uprock in the building on the ones and twos there will be free food guys and only three dollars for drinks so um for beverages adult beverages so let me tell you again this is going the proceeds of this is going to scholarships directly directly to scholarships yeah. this is going to help put someone through school your night of fun and entertainment yes looking cute yes it's going to help it's going to help somebody with your food enjoying your food and <laughs> fellowship with each other is going to help somebody that is such a win-win situation yes. ain't it yes yes and we That's a win -win. And, and everybody can vouch for what we do with our donations that we get in we put it directly back into the community um with several different things and also things to look out for November, we have our community prayer breakfast. Okay. Uh, uh, January, no, excuse me, February, we have our Black History program. March, we have our Easter egg hunt, which we had like nearly 5,000 people last year at the Easter egg hunt. We partnered with some different churches and things like that. Yeah. Um, and I think we're going to have, we might squeeze one more event in there. We haven't been in locked in solid yet. Okay. Uh, and then obviously um, our Juneteenth festival, which is absolutely be, we got some There's big plans something for next going year. on all year long That's with the Al major, Edwards Juneteenth major. Association. Yes. Wanna pre I wanna thank so much uh Bryant for coming in. I'm gonna tell you, since you've taken over, um it has really it was always been great, but I'm gonna tell you, you have really taken it to the next level. I commend you on that. Kudos to you on really coming in and really being the president for real. I mean, I mean but I'm, <laughs> and let me tell you, I don't, this is not a one man show. I have some of the best members on this side of heaven. Major shout out to our founders, um, all of our lifetime members, all of our members. We have about, about 20, 25, 30 strong now. And uh, I mean, they keep it rocking. Committed. Yes, yes, they, they keep it rocking day in and day out. So it wasn't, it would not be a me if it was not for them. Absolutely. Uh, and so I definitely pay first respect to all of our members. I mean, we got some good, good soldiers and our organization. And so definitely a shout out to all the Juneteenth Association for all your hard work. It is appreciated. Absolutely. Shout out Juneteenth Association. Want to thank you so much for Mr. Brian Ward for coming in. Thank we you. had a wonderful time today. I am your host, Miss Tony Ringo. You've been listening to Sundays at the Square. Happy Sunday. Have a good Sunday, guys.